what are the costs of not accessing our emotions when faced with everything that we're faced with today? I mean, look, let's be clear. It can be cognitively, uh, and I know I'm, I'm mixing my realms of the brain, but cognitively taxing and overloading if we over-index on emotionality. There's so much kind of pain and suffering in the world right now that if we access it and let it and open it too much, it can actually become paralyzing. That mm -hmm. being said, um, we've come so we've become so numb in how we view these both macro wicked level problems like climate change, obviously being the big one, or refugees, an area that I've worked a, a lot of my professional life in, um, that we get to a point where we just kind of shut off. Uh, and we're, we're, we, we become, and this is the, the subtitle of the book, An Antidote to Short-Termism, we become overly short-termistic in how we make decisions. And some decisions defy, uh, um, def defy the logical in terms of what we need to do and what we need to be doing. And so what emotions can do on two things. One, they open us up. And this is the role of empathy. And we'll get into this, what this, the term transgenerational empathy, I'm sure, in a moment. Mm -hmm. But it opens us up to what is actually going on and moves us past the numbness. That's at an individual level. And in some ways, a kind of self-interested level, to be honest with you. Again, at this larger macro level, what it allows us to do is start actually thinking very creatively about what it is we want and what is our ultimate aim and goal as a species. 